everyone. How are you doing? Well, here I am. It's my first Instagram live, I think, ever. So uh, I'm excited about it. I just want to know uh, how are you doing during the, the confinement. Um, me personally, I am doing okay. Uh, I can't complain. Here I am at home. Um, yeah, I've been uh, very, very hard times for for the world in general, no? So, uh, and and yes, the the coronavirus is is hitting um, our country, my country, very strong too. So, uh, yeah, it's it's tough to accept all the things that uh, you see every day. On the news, but uh, yeah, it's not a moment to be sad. Uh, here I am uh, in Instagram live for the first time, so let's try to to enjoy some 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 good time. Uh, well, for me personally, have been uh, more than one month already being here at home, and I just try to to do my, my routines uh, in terms of uh, working a little bit on the gym. I'm lucky that um, mm, my, my people from, from my academy send me the, some, some uh, machines from the, from, from the gym and I'm able to, to work a little bit here, here at home. So uh, happy to, to be able to keep working a little bit uh, on, my, on my fitness. And I am trying to to keep enjoying uh, the cooking or just spending time with with my wife. Uh, well, uh, that's the things that uh, that's the thing that we can do today. No, so nothing else. But yes, have been uh, some tough period of time, especially the first couple of weeks have been difficult for me to understand how the things. Uh, evolves and uh, it was impossible for me to to stay positive uh, watching every day on the news all the people who who were suffering that much no so now uh, i think even if still a, a sad moment because everybody uh, is suffering this pandemic worldwide uh, seems like in some places uh, things start to be a little bit uh, less negative now so that's give me positive energy too and i I find my my routines, uh, and I am a little bit more more positive. I I enjoyed this this time trying to to stay in touch uh, with uh, with my foundation, uh, knowing that um, today uh, we are even uh, through this uh, very hard times. Uh, my foundation is uh, is not stopping the work, so we are trying to to keep helping the families for example uh, in in palma we are we are helping the the families uh, in terms of uh, basic products uh, families who are uh, taking advantage of our product project in in palma we are sending them uh, food uh, hygienic products uh, and just try to be in touch and make sure that they we are able to cover the things that they they need you know and in another project we are sending uh, to to the kids the scholar scholar material uh, because uh, they don't have the opportunity to to keep working online from their home so uh, we are making sure that they have the things that they need so something that uh, i think is is important uh, in this very tough period of time and at the same time you know i'm um, i'm in touch with uh, with the people of uh, of red cross that we we started the, the initiative uh, with pau gasol and have been a, an important success uh, happy that uh, we are raising a lot of uh, important money uh, for for the cause and uh, i'm super happy that uh, the rest of uh, 
of a sportsman in in Spain, the world of sport stays together to try to to support the the initiative. Now I can't thank enough uh, my colleagues for for their support and uh, not only the world of sport. Uh, everyone have been very positive about the project and supporting. So um, super happy for that, and uh, we really hope to to keep encouraging the the people to to keep supporting all the initiatives to to help and to to try to to overcome this uh, very tough situation at the same time i have been uh, in touch with the with the kids on on my academy that they are com- confined there since one month and something so <laughs> i am super proud about the the work that um, that my team is doing inside the academy. Uh, there is uh, 70 uh, workers uh, inside the academy uh, and 85 kids inside the academy you know, since the beginning of the quarantine. So um, they are doing a great job. They are following the rules. Uh, I have been in touch with them, uh, with the coaches. I have been in touch with the kids uh, and I enjoyed this period of time to to try to be in touch with the parents too, because uh, during these uh, times, I think parents uh, needs to make sure that uh, their children uh, are safe and are in the in the best hands possible. And uh, we can't uh, we can't stop working and working to make sure that this is happening. No, so uh, yeah. Uh, have been a, a great conversation with the parents. Uh, I think very productive and um, just uh, making them know that uh, we are following the the rules uh, of the of the authorities, and we are making sure that we take all the prevention possible to to make sure the the kids are healthy and in the best hands possible. So. That's something that I am, I am very proud. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's, it's tough to be, to be watching every day how many families, how many, how many people uh, are losing uh, one member of their family, and even they cannot say goodbye. So it's something that is. Uh, I can't imagine something like this. How 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 tough this this is. So uh, all my support for all this for all these families, uh, especially for these families, but at the same time for the families that uh, that some of their members are losing their jobs. No, uh, it's true that uh, we are suffering uh, a sanitary crisis with the COVID, but at the same time, it's true that the economical crisis is a is a big issue to know today and in the future. No, going to be a lot of people that they're gonna lose their job, and uh, it's the moment to stay together uh, to try to to make sure that uh, we we work hard to avoid all these disasters. Or I know avoid is impossible, but to minimize uh, the impact of this situation. So we we're gonna make sure that uh, that not gonna be because we are not working hard uh, to avoid this situation. And uh, I want to say some words in Spanish because I didn't. Uh, hola a todos. Eh, nada, simplemente eh, deciros que estoy feliz de estar aquí con todos vosotros. Eh, es mi primer Instagram Live eh, que he hecho en, en mi vida y, y es algo nuevo para mí. Pero bueno, estoy eh, feliz eh, de, de poder compart- compartir con vosotros un, un ratito. Y, y la realidad es que en estos momentos tan duros que, que estamos viviendo, pues es bueno también pasar un, un rato de, de, de distracción y, y la verdad que me alegra de poder compartirlo con, con, todos, con todos vosotros. Eh, deciros que desde, desde que he empezado el, el, el confinamiento pues eh, desde la fundación no hemos parado de, de, de buscar también soluciones para, para, eh, para atender a las familias que, están, que se están viendo beneficiadas de nuestros proyectos lo he dicho en inglés pero lo digo en español eh, a las familias que, que acuden a nuestro centro de Palma pues eh, les damos... Eh, 
ayuda alimenticia y, y, y de higiene para, para, para asegurarnos de que no les falta de nada en, esto, en, este, periódico, en este periodo de, de, de alta dificultad para, para todos nosotros. Estamos trabajando para, para ayudarles en, en todo lo que, lo que les podamos ayudar, en todo lo que necesiten y seguimos en contacto con las familias para, para asegurarnos de que, de que están bien y bien atendidas. En, en otro proyecto en Valencia pues eh, les hemos eh, dado packs escolares porque muchos de, de los niños y niñas que están en, en, en nuestros centros pues que no tienen acceso a, a internet y no pueden seguir eh, estudiando por a través online, o sea que intentamos que, que no les falte el material escolar en estos momentos que, que ellos pues no pueden acudir al colegio, ¿no? o sea que intentamos cuidar a, a la gente que se beneficia de nuestros, de nuestros proyectos y, y no paramos de, de buscar soluciones para, para intentar que ellos se sientan bien atendidos. También he estado aprovechando para, para, para estar en contacto con los chicos que están en la academia, que son 85 y también tenemos a 70 eh, trabajadores confinados dentro desde que empezó la, la cuarentena. Y nada, soy muy, muy orgulloso de tanto de los niños como de los entrenadores y psicólogos, preparadores físicos, fisioterapeutas que se han, que se han quedado dentro. ¿no? Son momentos muy complicados y muchos de ellos están ahí confinados eh, sin poder ver a sus familias. ¿no? O sea que... Para mí, y estoy seguro de para los niños y niñas de, que están en la academia, que también eh, están sufriendo este impacto del, del coronavirus, pues eh, no pueden desarrollar su vida normal, pues tener el cariño y la atención de todos estos trabajadores dentro de, de la academia, pues eh, seguro que les ayuda a superar un, un periodo como este que, que está siendo realmente, realmente duro. Y nada, también quería mandar un mensaje de apoyo a todas las familias que, que, que tienen algún miembro mmm, que ha perdido la vida o que están sufriendo el, el coronavirus y que no se han podido despedir de él ¿no? o de ella. Son momentos inimaginables eh, lo dolorosos que pueden llegar a ser. Se me hace imposible ponerme en, en la piel de, de tantos y tantos que han perdido algún ser querido sin tan siquiera poderse despedir. Pero bueno, solo puedo mandaros un mensaje de de ánimo y, y ojalá que podamos salir de esta de, de la manera menos negativa posible ¿no? también un, un saludo afectuoso a toda la gente que, que está perdiendo su trabajo ¿no? que al final pues eh, estamos sufriendo una crisis sanitaria muy importante pero también económica ¿no? eh, la estamos sufriendo ahora y creo que la vamos a seguir sufriendo en el futuro ¿no? va a ser un, un periodo muy duro creo que para, para muchas familias en muchos sentidos y y el momento de, de apoyarnos, de, de estar unidos y buscar soluciones para, para, que, para que la gente sufra lo menos posible. Pero bueno, vamos a estar positivos, vamos a pensar que las cosas eh, van a ir a mejor cuanto antes y, y ojalá que, que así sea y salgamos de esta de la mejor manera posible. Bueno, a ver, voy a aprovechar para, para contestar algunas preguntas que veo que me están mandando, que son muchas. A ver, una por ahí, por ejemplo, es... Uh, Which advice did you give last week to the players confined at the academy? Well, I personally, uh, I am not a big fan of advices, no? I just uh, have been in touch with, with them, uh, trying to explain my experience here at home and just uh, to be well informed about how, how they are feeling. But just um, Dolly message that I sent to, to them is try to hold the try to hold the, the motivation, try to hold the, the passion and the, and the discipline. No? Uh, try to find routines every single day and just uh, tell them that uh, in some way, well, they they are a little bit better than the most of the people no? because they are uh, inside the academy and they can share all these tough moments with uh, with friends because there are 80 friends there and with coaches and with psychologists so even if the situation is tough because they cannot do their normal life you know they cannot go to school every single day they have to to follow the school online and they cannot practice tennis as usual they 
they can share all these moments with with a lot of friends, no, and that's something that uh, makes the things a little bit less difficult for them. And uh, they were agree; uh, they are happy, they are following the rules, and uh, of course, they can't wait to come back to to the tennis court and keep uh, practicing and keep following their dreams, no, but. They are positive. Uh, they know they are uh, they are in a in a good place with the right professionals around them, and uh, I saw them happy. So just um, just hopefully they they are able to come back on court very very soon. Well, let's go for another question. A ver aquí. Hola Rafa, ¿qué tienes pensado? hacer cuando te retires dentro de al menos de 20 años bueno pues la verdad que dentro de 20 años desgraciadamente no va a ser pero pero la realidad es que 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 no lo sé eh, vamos a ver qué qué sucede vamos a a de momento seguir jugando a a tenis que es lo que lo que a día de hoy me apetece y, y la realidad es que que estoy con ilusión de, de volver al, circu al circuito, ¿no? Creo que, que nos toca una época de responsabilidad, ¿no? una época que va a ser difícil volver a jugar torneos oficiales a corto plazo, pero, pero bueno, tenemos la, la confianza de que cuando volvamos todo, todo va a salir bien, ¿no? Y lo que voy a hacer en el futuro, pues bueno, tengo bastantes cosas en, en mente, me apetecería viajar porque he viajado mucho pero no, no he conocido los lugares, también es evidente que tengo la academia y la fundación que son parte importante de mi presente, pero, pero también una parte muy, muy importante de mi futuro y, y la realidad es que voy, voy a estar aún mucho más encima de, de todos estos proyectos de lo que, de lo que pueda estar a día, a día de hoy, ¿no? ya, que, ya que a día de hoy pues, eh, tengo un buen que hacer siguiendo mi, mi, canera, mi carrera tenística. A ver... Vamos con otra. Who in the current tour did you play against first as kids, Novak, Andy, or anyone else? Well, I with Novak I never played when I when we when we were kids. Uh, I played with Andy, yes. I played with uh, Joe Wilfried, uh, Songa, with Richard Gasquet, uh, with Gael Monfields. Yeah. Uh, I had great memories for um, from all these times, all those times. No, have been unforgettable. Uh, I remember playing by teams, uh, representing our countries, and have been just uh, amazing. No, we enjoyed uh, a lot, uh, spending time together, and have been a lifetime experiences. So, uh, just um, it's great to stay together now on tour because uh, we we make our dreams true you know well, when we were kids we were traveling we were practicing uh, a lot to try to become professional tennis players one day and uh, some of us we did it uh, and uh, and it's great to keep sharing things together on tour okay let's go for for another one. Me pregunta aquí, Peter, ¿estás jugando al tenis en casa estos días? ¿Qué rutinas tienes? Pues, eh, pues no estoy jugando al tenis, la realidad, no tengo una pista en casa eh, y, y la verdad es que, que lo he hecho un poco de menos. Estoy haciendo mis rutinas físicas, como he explicado antes en inglés, pues tuve la suerte que desde, desde el gimnasio, desde el gimnasio de, de mi academia pues me han podido, me han podido traer eh, algunas máquinas eh, cuando empezó la cuarentena y, y bueno, estoy haciendo mis, mis trabajos diarios, ¿no? estoy siguiendo mis rutinas diarias y y intento trabajar un poco por la mañana, un poco por la tarde y mantenerme un poco ocupado y también en forma, ¿no? Creo que durante este periodo de tiempo en el que estamos en casa es muy importante tener tanto la cabeza como, como el cuerpo despierto, ¿no? Y es lo que, lo que yo estoy 
intentando en, en, en todo momento. Es verdad que, que no entiendo muy bien por qué no podemos eh, jugar a tenis cuando, cuando la mayoría de... Bueno, la mayoría, cuando mucha gente está, está yendo a, a trabajar y más en nuestro deporte, que mantenemos unas distancias muy grandes de seguridad, pues jugamos uno en, en, cada, en cada lado de pista. Pero... Pero bueno, mmm, entiendo que es una situación muy crítica, entiendo que, que también el gobierno pues, eh, está desbordado por, por una situación eh, sin precedentes y también entiendo que lo último que piensan es en, el, en quién puede entrenar o quién no puede entrenar. ¿no? O sea que, que, que entiendo la situación, igualmente evidentemente hay muchas cosas que, que no tienen lógica, pero hay que aceptar las, las reglas y convivir con ellas. A ver, vamos por, por otra pregunta por aquí. What do you think will be the easiest Spanish fishing or cooking? Uh, the easiest, the easiest probably will be why not fishing? I think he he likes and uh, speaking with him couple of times uh, I have been able to to know that uh, he likes sometimes to to go for fishing with their with their kids uh, to the lake and uh, I think they he has experience in all of this no but he's trying he's trying in Spanish sometimes and uh, and I don't know I never he never cooked for me so I don't know his cooking abilities uh, But I'm sure that he has some good talent out there. So uh, I don't know when I will be with Roger next time. I will I will ask him. <laughs> okay, let's go for another question. What keeps you motivated after the many victories you have had, and especially during these times? Well, my my motivation is. Is is very easy to understand. No, I love what I'm doing. I I feel a super lucky person for all the experiences that uh, that I am able to to enjoy because of tennis. So um, honestly, I want to keep doing the things that I like. So. Um, Doesn't matter if I achieved a lot or not that much. No, I like to be out there. I like to play in the in the best stadiums. Uh, I like to play tennis. I like the competition. So I, I'm just trying to 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 stay healthy and to to do my job, my routines every day to to be ready when when I have the chance to to come back. That's that's all what what I can do today. No, and I'm just trying to do my best. To be ready for for what's coming later. Okay, let's go for the next one. My question will be: When you are in an intensive training or training mode, what's your schedule from a starting of the day till you sleep? <laughs> like what time you wake up? What you do all day of training day at the academy? Well, I normally in a normal, well, uh, let's say a, a off season day, you know, to the preparation for the for the next uh, season is um, normally I wake up around eight in the morning. I have a breakfast. I go on the on the physio's room with Rafael, my mom, my my physiotherapist, and just try to warm up the body a little bit on the on the physio's room on the massage table. Then uh, we go to the gym. We do our warm up exercises for around 45 minutes, and then we go on court. And we go on court. We just try it. Uh, we we just practice normally for. Two hours, two hours and a half, uh, one hour and thirty. Depends on the day because sometimes we have uh, a practice of uh, 
of two days or of two times per day, you know, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So if that happens, just we practice one hour and a half in the morning and uh, around one hour in the afternoon or one hour and a half in the afternoon too. But normally we only have one session, no? especially today when I was younger, I was uh, working uh, many more hours, but uh, today we need to, to be ready to to save the the body too, no? So uh, we practice in the morning until uh, round one, something like this. And then uh, we go for lunch and in the afternoon we come back to the to the gym. Uh, we work for one hour 30 to two hours, depends on the day. And then sometimes we do some treatment with, the, with Raphael, with my physio, or sometimes just we come back home and just relax until the, the next morning. Okay, one moment guys, because I have Roger here, I think he wants to be, he wants to be in touch with us. Uh, so let's see if I'm able to find him and talk a little bit together. One second. As you know, it's my first Instagram live, so it's not easy for me. One second, guys. Sorry. This man is not easy to find. <laughs> He's texting me that he wants to be in touch with us, but... seeing Andy here but I keep looking for Roger I'm gonna try to be in touch with Andy later okay I think I I finally found him. Let's try to see if he's able to stay in touch with us for a while. He has a lot of work at home, I think, during these days with all the family taking care of their kids. Uh, but let's see. We are able to, to be in touch a little bit with with him. I know he he's at home in in the mountains. At his house, he have been, we have been in touch together the last week and uh, talking about our tour, about how the things are, are, are evolving in terms of when we, we will be able to, to come back on the, on the tour and just trying to, to find solutions about how to how to help the people who really needs the most so let's let's see
we lost the connection with Russia. <laughs> Okay, we are waiting. Ah, finally! Are we in? <laughs> Did we make it? <laughs> finally! By God! Oh, I don't know if it was you or me. How are you doing? Uh, I, it's sure myself. I, me I, too. I, I, I went in and out and in and out. I don't know how many times, but at the end, <laughs> but you we know, made it. We By are, God! We are old enough for all these things. No. Oh, God. You should have chosen a better guy. <laughs> How are you doing? You okay? Family, friends, everybody okay? Yeah, still fine. Still okay, fine. Yeah, good. Yeah. Situation, as I told you a couple of days ago, is still not good, but a little bit better. Uh, yeah, But good. still not able to, to go out, but uh, but everybody's fine. Family okay. and all the people around me, friends are good. How are you doing? Like I said, good also. Yeah, yeah, we're here at home, like everybody else, uh, you know, um, in a way it's nice not to travel, but knowing that uh, there's so much uh, tough moments out there, uh, it makes it uh, uncomfortable, you know, to be in the position that we are in, but uh, together we're stronger, you know, so, um, but everybody's healthy, you know, uh, family, um, Your uh, parents, Mirka, parents. the kids, parents, yes, everybody's good, so yes. I'm, no, I'm, I'm happy and relieved, so yeah, no, it's good. Academy is open or no, it's closed. Must be closed, no, right? It's it's closed. No, nothing. When can when are you hoping today. to open? Do you have any idea or not yet? No idea today because we are following the the rules. Uh, yeah. we, are, we are following the, following the what the authorities say today. So uh, today uh, I explained yes before a little bit before to the to the followers. Uh, there is uh, eighty <laughs> eighty five kids inside the academy and uh, seventy. Yeah. Workers, psychologists, coaches, uh, uh, people from the kitchen, uh, yeah. physios, uh, physical trainers, everybody is inside taking care of the kids. And yeah. uh, I spoke with the kids and with the coaches a couple of days ago and uh, have been uh, great. They are happy, even if the, they want to be practicing tennis. And uh, yeah. for the moment, we are not allowed to do it. So, uh, so you have I, not played since Indian Wells or what? Kids for me. No, no, how, no, you. <laughs> me, me. I didn't touch a racket since Indian Wells. <laughs> Long time Perfect. Ago. You won't be able to play tennis anymore when you come back. I hope. <laughs> I hope to remember something when I come yeah, back. On for sure. You. How are you doing? Yeah. Well, look, I've been hitting a little bit against the wall. Um, rehab with the knee. Um, Is good the knee? Is improving? Yeah, it's it's okay. Um, it, I had a really good first six weeks. Uh, then it was a bit slower. Um, now it's getting better again, but. Uh, I have uh, plenty of time, so <laughs> there is no stress, no rush. If there's anything positive, you know, that's the only thing, really, uh, yeah. that, I, that I have plenty of time. I mean, at the end of the day, I just want the need to be good. You know, it doesn't matter when I return. Um, so you know, I've been hitting a little bit against the wall and uh, doing my rehab and my fitness and everything. So no, things have been, been okay for me, you know, and I feel happy, you know, uh, even... Well, uh, I think after the second surgery, I mean, I don't know how many you've had, but uh, it's easier the second time around, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> but I don't need to experience a third one, that's for sure. No, better not. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, at, at, at least not during our tennis careers. Anyway. Exactly. We can do another one maybe <laughs> later at some point, yeah. but uh, not at the moment. Yeah. By the way, well, I was wondering, when you were, when you were growing up, Rafa, um, did you have a, I mean, you clearly didn't probably have the setup like you have at the academy, right? How was your setup when you were growing up? Uh, oh. You know, was it simple? Was it a good one? Was it a perfect one? Uh, Not perfect. was it? I was lucky enough. I have my parents. Uh, <laughs> just, yeah. uh, they have been uh, working like a taxi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm a taxi driver now, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know how the things works. And I, I was yeah. playing football, I was playing tennis, uh, went to school. So it uh, was not like today in the academy that everything is together and uh, things are, 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 you know, are a little bit easier. No? Uh, for me, it was, you know, school 9 to 12, then 
12 to 2, I was practicing tennis, uh, mm -hmm. just eating something quick, 2 to 3, at, uh, at 3 I, I was in the school, 3 to 5, I remember going to practice football around 5.30 and then sometimes yeah. maybe a little bit more tennis and then home homeworks from the school, so have been crazy. So <laughs> my yeah. parents had a lot of work, and, uh, but have been... Uh, uh, a big help, and I, as you know, I have my uncle too. That he was yes, uh, yes. very important during that that moment. Uh, you, you, I imagine that you had something similar. Yeah, I had yeah similar football <laughs> and tennis. I probably was not good as good as uh, you know football as you, but uh, uh, I chose when I decided at twelve, you know, to choose tennis over football, and also it was all day the same thing. Also, you know, in school homework and you know the the two sessions until it was just too much. You know, uh, yeah. So one thing, by the way, I, w I wanted to ask you because it's been bothering me, you know, it's th that you are lefty, you know, so that's been a problem for me. <laughs> why did you, if you are righty, why do you play lefty if you could play righty? <laughs> no, I, I cannot play righty. No, no, you I cannot? cannot. Just, but you can that's, write. That's, uh... that's just a legend. I can but write a legend. With, the, <laughs> with the right hand. I can, I can. My basketball skills are with the right. All the feeling is on the right. Yeah. But not, in, not in a tennis court and not in a football. So I am lefty man. to play football and lefty to play tennis. But uh, And it was your whole life like this? Or it was your dad yes. or your uncle? Do, yes, but that... which, which age you started to play tennis? Three, four. And then it was four. always right hand. Yeah. Four, Two four. hands. Yeah, for me the same. But I started with two hands. Backhand and forehand. So, mm. <laughs> so uh, right one day the people... Probably, probably because I was hitting two backhands, uh, yeah. people didn't didn't know that uh, that uh, that I am lefty or righty. But I always have been lefty playing. Oh, okay, so it's a legend. Okay, good. So then I cannot <laughs> well, be angry. Then it's just natural. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Well, how are the kids enjoying the quarantine? Good. Yeah. Well, I mean, actually, for them, uh, I think the other day, you know, when we came back from uh, South Africa, I went into the car. Uh, with uh, with Lenny and um, we went to go visit a friend but I didn't tell him where we were going and he asked me eventually so where are we going and I told him oh we're going back to Australia and she was like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> he was ready for a 24 hour trip so uh, they were happy anywhere you know it seemed like but uh, no honestly we're very happy to be in Switzerland which is just uh, the part that's hard is that we obviously cannot uh, interact or see anybody other than yeah, over yeah. the phone um, same with my parents and just you know the close ones uh, and the kids would love to play with other but but honestly our our life and our kids are so busy all the time and having four they can always also just be together and it's always uh, fun and, and exciting so no they're doing well and um, you know we're we it's good to have a routine as well I mean we are very strong for routines in general you know with, yeah. with school with when to eat when to go to sleep and I, I think you when you have children you have to be or especially if you have multiple children you should be and we do that and that, especially now that we're home for so long it's amazing you know we can go like okay on monday we do this on tuesday we do that on the weekends we're off and normally it's all over the place we don't know what to do you know or what's going to happen really in two days so yeah, yeah um so yeah no so everybody's good i must say well, um everybody's in good shape and healthy so that's great well Roger, I don't want to bother you. Yeah, Just, let me go uh, and take uh, take Andy because he's laughing at us, and I know that Stan's also I'm gonna, watching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to I'm get gonna, Andy I'm in gonna, because I know he's I'm waiting gonna be in too. Touch with Andy. How, how, <laughs> it's gonna take how, like ten okay. minutes. <laughs> well, Roger, thank you very much for being here. Thank all, you, all, all the best to you, the family, and the academy. I hope to see you very, very soon. Okay, absolutely. Take thank care. You. I hope Bye, I can Andy. log out again. Oh? No, <laughs> I no, hope no, no, I can no, log no. Out. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Bye, bye. Thank you. Thank Take you. Care. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay, have been great to share this, these moments with, with Roger and I see Andy here that he's making fun of us. I think he likes more the social networks than than what we do. Where is Andy? Let's see if I'm able to, to find Andy. I'm not finding.
I don't know if I'm the height as now. <laughs> Andy, where are you, man? Hmm? Okay. Oh, I see my friend here, Mark Lopez. We're going to try to be in touch with him later. Hi, Andy. Rafa, how are you doing, Candy? I can only see. Oh, there we go. You're back. Okay. I, I, I this this Instagram Instagram life is. I am going crazy with this, man. Yeah, it's it's a bit tricky getting people on it, but um, they are good. <laughs> people seem to like them once we uh, once we manage. But it was it was very amusing watching you trying to. Hey, next time next time I'm gonna be more ready. Okay. <laughs> how are you doing? Yeah, I'm I'm good. Yeah, I'm just yeah at home with the the family and yeah, just trying to find things every day to do with the the kids and stuff. But yeah, it's been um yeah it's it's been tough um obviously, but it's been nice as well to spend so much time with the the kids and and the family. We're not used to that, obviously. How yeah. about you? Well, here, good at home. I'm here in Mallorca, uh, Porto Cristo, and uh, yeah, just uh. Trying to be positive because during this period of time is so so difficult to to stay positive. A lot of people suffering a lot. So uh, yeah, that's that's how it that's how the thing goes now. But I just uh, trying to do my routines every single day and just try to work a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon. Just trying to to take care a little bit too about the foundation, the academy, because there is there are some tricky times. Uh, with uh, with everything close, uh, so uh, yeah. I don't know. Going to be a, some tough period of time for the workers too, because uh, yeah. the, the economy is suffering a lot. And in terms of the the impact that we're going to have after the the coronavi coronavirus, uh, going to be I think tremendous. So yeah, yeah going to be a going to be a tough times, but we we're going to try to be ready to to. Be ready for for the action after that. What about you? Where are you? London? Yeah, I'm just in London just now. Yeah, I mean that that must be rough for the for the academy. I obviously, spent a little bit of time there in the last kind of eighteen yeah. months. So um, at the Challenger, and then I obviously went there to train. Uh, and yeah, well, I loved it. So that's a shame for all of the kids there as well, who you know, with their you know, schooling and training and everything, it must be yeah. it must be pretty rough. Yeah, that's how it is. But the, the kids are fine. Kids are inside the academy. Uh, so there's still a lot. There's still a lot of them there. A lot. Of yeah. Interactions yeah. Because we, I think the academy make it. A, well, we make it a big effort because uh, uh, for us it's tough. Uh, but at the same time, it's was safer for the kids yeah. to to stay in the academy than travel back yeah. to their homes uh, because the, the the epidemic was so big when yeah. in, in that moment so uh, i think for the safety of the kids uh it was better that they stay uh inside the academy so we we close yeah. everything so everybody's inside the academy since the beginning of the quarantine uh, yeah. nobody can come in uh nobody so if somebody have to go out for some reason uh they, they cannot be back yeah. Uh, until the situation improves and that's the way that we proceed and uh, like this we are lucky enough that there is no one case of the coronavirus inside the academy so uh, kids are good because kids are with the uh, with the coaches with the psychologists uh, with the trainers yeah. so they are in they are in good hands and I spoke with them last week and uh, 
and they're happy uh, even if they want to be back on court because they are not able to practice yet but they are <laughs> they're happy to share all these moments with the with the friends and uh, the only positive thing is they're going to have uh, <laughs> this memory uh, from inside the, the academy and sharing these memories with the with the friends yeah what's you, well how are you, your kids doing yeah they're good yeah we're just it's difficult trying to you know trying to teach your kids as parents you know like <laughs> you you appreciate all the work the teachers do a lot more in these sorts of situations than maybe you you did before because it's it's tough they don't want to listen all the all the times of what the parents, uh, what the parents are saying that's for sure <laughs> well that's 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 how the thing goes now yeah. how is how is your body yeah, it's good. Yeah, I mean, I've been training a lot. I'm still able to do lots of things, but it's yeah. No, I haven't practiced for five weeks. So since um, yeah, since everything started to to get shut down here, so I've not hit any balls, but I'm still doing lots of training, and I feel pretty good. So um, yeah, we'll see see what happens when we're able to to start doing things again. I saw um, I just saw um, Juan Monaco was uh, was sending messages, and it was making me think about the, all of the the pro evolution games we used to play on the uh, <laughs> on the tour good memories yeah. until yeah. late night yeah exactly yeah late exactly. night matches on the tournaments i ha yeah. i remember rome well i remember a lot yeah, of yeah. matches <laughs> well but yeah. by the way we were we were honestly we were better than you guys uh, yeah well to be on i i feel like it was my <laughs> partner that was letting me down sorry to throw him under the bus but danny was definitely the worst of the four <laughs> Yeah, um, maybe that was your fault. Maybe it was that. Maybe, but maybe. <laughs> yeah, I should have picked a better partner. But you, uh, you're, um, you're playing in the uh, the the virtual tennis event, right? In uh, Madrid, I, I spoke to uh, Feli Lopez. Um, he <laughs> he messaged me today and said that you'd been practicing for like three or four hours a day on the PlayStation. Yeah, no, I am not doing anything else. I am just. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm honestly I I just played my first match today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. First match today and that, I I am I, not I sure I played I played last night uh, and I played I was playing as you. So you were my I chose you to play obviously on clay. Are you playing play the tournament or not? No, no. I, yeah, I'm playing in the tournament. I'm playing in the tournament, but I I I chose to play as you against um I was playing against Roger, oh, and, nice. uh, and you hit against we, against the back end all the time. We were playing. <laughs> we, we so me and you were playing unbelievable. But after a set, your guy was like unbelievably tired. It's like his energy <laughs> thing was like I was like I never saw you getting tired after one set before. So I don't know why. Nah, they, they they don't want me to do it well this year on the yeah. on the Madrid Open. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see how see how that goes. It'll be good fun. Are you are you practicing? Are you doing well? We can we can play a match later. Yeah. Why yeah, not? I'd be, I'd, I'd be up for that. Yeah, I'd be up for that. I don't have a character, so I need to. You know, like I'm not me. I'm not in the game. You know, like as myself. So I have to choose someone else to play with. So. Well, that doesn't matter. You can choose. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Nick or something. Maybe maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll take Nick. Yeah, maybe I'll take Nick. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna text you later to play a match. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm up for that. I'm up for that for sure. Just not not too late because I have to get up with the kids in the morning. So. Well, Andy, come on. <laughs> my nine or like t ten o'clock Spanish time is like my cutoff. No. No. Uh, you, you, you enjoy. You have. You have been coming to the academy. You have been living in Spain for a while. You. You, you have to be ready for the Spanish time. You uh, know, this, around this twelve great. noon. Yeah. What time are you? What time are you having your dinner now? Eleven p.m. Now. Now we start. That. that <laughs> the doing these timings is very difficult, man. Yeah. Is uh, some days I went to sleep around two in the night, two in the evening. Uh, yeah. Some days three. Uh, I don't know. Every day is different because <laughs> there, is, there is difficult. I don't have kids like you, so yeah. I think the kids organize you a little bit better during this yeah. quarantine because I, with our routines, next day I cannot go out. So uh, yeah. I just, you know, during the night, sometimes I am, uh, I am doing things. I'm watching some series. I don't know. Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm six six a.m. every morning. The kids are getting us up. So yes, that's a different story. In, man. In, enjoy <laughs> enjoy your your late nights and your lions um, whilst you whilst you don't have kids because it's, uh, it's well, rough. there is there is there is uh, uh, yeah I hope to be in your situation uh, yeah. in, in not very long period of time. So okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Well, now's a good now's a good time because we're at home with the the family all the time. Now's a good time. Well, well uh, you, you, you never know. You never know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Well, Andy, very good right. to to hear and very good to stay with you. And uh, thanks for for being here with us. Okay. No, that's all right. It was good to speak to you. I hope just, you're just uh, just you're doing well. go go on the TV <laughs> and practice a little bit for later because if not, no chance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be practicing. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Right, See you bye. later. Bye. Now we're going to do... No, Mark, no? No, Premier Cass. Now we're going to be in touch. Let's try to be in, in touch with my friend Mark Lopez a little bit. And then we're going to be in touch with the Academy. Let's see what is Mark. Where are you, Mark? Bullet. Let's see. Well, guys, I hope you are enjoying the the Instagram live. As you can see, I am a disaster in in everything, but uh, I am trying hard, guys. Well, let's see if Mark is here now. Hombre! <laughs> O escolta, o, o fas expresament, no? Esto és adrede o com va el tema? Estoy No, pasando... tengo que re tengo que reconocer algo. No he enviado la solicitud hasta al cabo de un minuto. Pues, Para es, que estoy pasando apuros con el Instagram Live. <risa> Ay, ya no tengo batería. Voy a poner batería porque Ah, pues sí. enchufa el móvil. A ver, ¿dónde estás? Estoy en mi casa, en el en mi piso, el ático, este de 300 metros que tú conoces bien. <risa> no, estoy en, en un apartamento precioso que tú aún no conoces. Hasta invitarte cuando vengas a Barcelona. Oye, ¿que no tienes wifi o qué? Hombre, cuando, cuando pueda venir. A ver, a, a ver si vengo pronto. Sí, el wifi sí que lo tengo, pero me estaba entrando una llamada. O sea, ah, yo... vale, vale. No lo digo. Sí, que estás muy invi ah, estás invitado. Estás invitadísimo. Ya cuando podamos salir, eh, aquí te espero. Hay qué? habitaciones de sobras. Vas a estar sí. como en casa aquí. Qué? ¿Dónde vives? ¿Palacio o qué? <risa> Esto no me va a ser en serio esta conversación. O sea, hemos bajado seguidores, ¿eh? Bueno, no pasa nada. Con Roger eran 50.000, ahora estamos en 29. Ay. Bueno. Evident, evidentemente es mi culpa, no la tuya, no, no me pasa nada. <risa> no es que tú tengas menos carisma que Roger. ¿no? 
No, hombre, es que Roger y Andy eran los teloneros y ahora parece mm. el artista principal que era yo. Eso, eso me han dicho. Eh, sí, sí, no, no, es que así, así ha estado plan. Bueno, lo bueno de siempre es lo último. <risa> Ay, bueno, va, vamos a hablar en serio. Eh, bueno, ¿qué todo? Bullet, ¿qué, ¿cómo llevas la cuarentena? ¿Bien? Pues depende del día. Eh, hay días que estoy mejor, hay días que estoy peor. Hay días que me despierto con ganas de hacer cosas y otros días no. Como tú bien sabes... La mayoría son que tengo pocas ganas de hacer cosas, pero, pero bueno, lo llevo bien. ¿Y tú qué tal? Bien, pues aquí pasando la, la cuarentena de la manera que, que se pueda. La verdad que un poco pesado como, como todos, pero, pero bueno, dentro de lo que cabe... ¿Estás, pues... mirando, ¿Estás mirando series? ¿Qué series estás mirando? Cuéntanos, pues, cuéntanos un poco. Ahora mismo estaba terminando una que es Sé quién eres. Vale. Pero... ¿Qué tal? Sé quién bueno, eres, pero ¿dónde la ves? La veo... Eh, la veo a través de eh, Amazon. Muy bien. Ah, bueno, estoy, pues muy bien. Estoy, estoy en ello. Pero bueno. Nada. Aquí, ¿Qué tal? Bueno. Aquí estamos. Tú aquí, a ver cuándo te vienes a... A Mallorca, que tu paso... No, fue, tengo que decir... Tu tengo paso que decir por para... la academia fue, fue fugaz. No, iba a decir, iba a decir que, el, que estuve un año, solo un año en la academia, pero que me tratasteis muy bien. Solo tengo palabras de agradecimiento a ti y a todo el mundo. Pero, por desgracia, fue corta mi, mi experiencia. Pero, pero nada, ya sabes que yo encantado de estar en Mallorca. La verdad que te voy a hacer un poco la pelota. Te voy a felicitar por el gran trabajo que has hecho y nada, con ganas de volver y, y entrenar ahí algún día. Te iba a preguntar, el, lo que he leído de que queréis hacer un campus y llevar jugadores ahí, eh, ¿Fel y yo tenemos plaza o cómo va el tema? ¿O, o hay que ser top? O... Hombre, eh, para gente de vuestro nivel, pues... Eh, pues sí, aún no se podríamos llegar a hacer un hueco. <risa> Vale, vale. ¿La suite? ¿La... ¿Hay suites o no? ¿Hay suites, no? No. Somos gente humilde. No, no puedo hablar en serio. Es la primera vez que hago un directo yo también. Mira. Pero bueno, ya Nos somos dos. Bueno, a ti, a ti no se te nota que es la primera vez. No, Digo no. Por puedo. la agilidad que tienes para, para comentar. Sorry, perdón. Es que la gente me escribe y trolea un poco a Rafa. Trolea lo no sé qué. Entonces, claro, soy yo el que, te, el que meto... Cizaña solo. Bueno, Bullet, bueno. tú. Eh, ¿Ya? Escucha. ¿Ya me dejas? Te dejo porque quiero contactar un momento con la academia que se me va a cortar esto. Ya. Bueno, manche, ahí llevo toda la tarde esperando. Me he puesto hasta Colonia. Y ahora ya me... <risa> <risa> Hombre, yo, yo, yo la huelo un poco también aquí. ¿eh? Sí, Pero que, que es mi momento de gloria. Nunca había tenido sí. tantos seguidores. Me estoy bueno, promocionando yo hoy. Esto es verdad, esto es verdad. Claro. No, no, no lo había, no lo había. <risa> ¿Cómo llevas...? <risa> ¿Cómo llevas tus inversiones? Yo pensaba que me preguntarías algo más, que tienes pensado cuando dejes de jugar. Digo, para, para decir mi currículum un poco. Para... Nada, nada. Se ve que me queda un minuto cuarenta y entre que encuentro la academia... Eh, no. <risa> bueno, bueno, Venga, bro. Venga, te llamo eh, después. Un abrazo. Venga, Gracias. Bueno, chicos, nada, se, se nos ha pasado el tiempo. La realidad es que quería contactar con, con la academia, pero pff, la verdad que se nos ha ido eh, no, se nos ha ido mucho tiempo. Eh, se me ha costado mucho adaptar a mi Instagram Live, pero antes de que acabe la cuarentena vamos a hacer otro y voy a estar más ágil, os lo aseguro. Nada, simplemente quería daros las gracias a todos por haber haberme acompañado en esta en esta tarde también agradecer a todos eh, tanto a Roger como, como a Mark como a Andy por, por habernos acompañado ha sido una, una experiencia y, y dentro de, del apuro de que sea la primera vez pues eh, la he disfrutado vale muchas gracias a todos y, y nos vemos pronto 
Well, guys, thank you very much for, for being here with us. Uh, thanks to Roger, to Andy, to Mark, to everybody who have been following this conversation. Have been my first have been my first...